Hey guys, today I'm using my streaming setup to make this video. I was like, why don't I ever make videos here? It's all set up, it's lit, and I can do things like this now. <laughs> yeah, I have a green screen. It's not tea, but it'll do. This article was freshly posted this week. iPhone 12 sizes compared with the iPhone SE 7, 8, SE 2, 10, 11, 11 Pro, and 11 Pro Max. So it looks like Apple is planning on launching three different sizes, a 5.4, a 6.1, and a 6.7. So you guys can see from this image here, in the lineup, we've got our iPhone 12, the 5.4, and the iPhone 11 and 12 right here, which is basically gonna be the same size, the 6.1, and the 6.7, the iPhone 12 big boy. So what I'm wondering is, are they going to be calling it the iPhone 12, the iPhone, 12 Pro and the iPhone 12 Pro Max again. I'm gonna put a little YouTube poll here, so if you guys wanna take that, I would love to hear what you guys think the new iPhone's gonna be called. So these models are based on the leaks that we've seen over the past few months, actually over a year, I feel like. It is great to kind of see these all in a lineup so that you'll be able to kind of get a better sense of what the size looks like in comparison to some older versions. So this is super helpful. Analyst believes iPhone 12 pricing will start $50 higher, even without ear pods or a charger in the box. This has been some really big news. A lot of people have been talking about how the newest iPhone might not come with a charger brick. This for me, I mean, kind of sucks because I actually do love having the charger brick, but in reality, I hardly ever use that charger brick to charge my iPhone. I use it to charge pretty much everything else, usually. All this time, I have been waiting and hoping and wishing for the iPhone to finally be USB-C. So most likely it will still have a port to be able to charge with, but will it come with a brick? No, will it come with a cable? I would imagine it would still at least come with a cable. But no ear pods, no charging brick, and still $50 more. So I guess most of the recent news, because a lot of the specs and other things that have been linked previously, the one thing that has kind of been held a little bit closer has been the prices, but this is sort of what the lineup is saying. The 5.4 inch is 649, the 6.1 is 749, the 6.1 inch 12 Pro would be 999, and the 6.7 inch 12 Pro Max would be 1099. So it does seem like these are the same naming conventions as the previous iPhone, which I think would actually make sense because I feel like they finally kind of have a name that fits and it makes sense. For a while, it was getting incredibly confusing. I feel like we had the iPhone 10R, we had the iPhone 10, but yet people kept calling it the X. So I feel like this makes sense. You'll have two different sizes of the iPhone 12 and you'll have two sizes of the Pro. That just makes too much sense that I feel like they're probably, they're gonna change it because <laughs> it makes too much sense. This is funny because they believe that the price will be accepted by consumers and will not affect demand, but the move would generate controversy nonetheless if the ear pods and wall charger are removed from the box as rumored. I have another question for you guys. Do you actually use the ear pods or do you use something different because I have not used a set of the earpods since the AirPods came out. Even then, I feel like I never really use them. We do use a very old version of the earpods with a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. For some reason, those are Tyler's favorite headphones to use when we're monitoring audio, but the new ones are lightning cable specific, so you can't use those with anything else. So along that same prediction, they're saying the 6.1 inch iPhone would likely start at 799 or 849. So if you would wanna stick with the same display size as the iPhone 11, you could be facing a larger $100 to $150 price increase. Just a little mini. iPhones are expensive. They are very expensive when you start going up to these higher end models. But when I think about the amount that I use this phone for so many things on a daily basis, I mean, I basically run my entire company from this. I know it's weird to say that I'm a company, but I am. Strange, I know. If I had nothing else, I could exist with just this. Might not be able to do all of the things that I've still been doing, but I could still do it. I could do live streams, I could edit video, I could record audio, really can do everything on this. That is a pretty big price increase. And the fact that 5G isn't really everywhere yet, that is kind of a hindrance, especially since I haven't gone anywhere in months. I've just been sitting here in the house, bored. That's one thing I haven't been. I haven't been bored in the house, or actually I have a little bit. But now that I have all these new hobbies, I'm gonna get a drum set because I wanna learn to play the drums. My sister and I have a podcast now. I've started live streaming video games. I've started playing Call of Duty again. Hmm. Hey, surprise! No, no, no. 
Yep, 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 yep. Shoot! What did you lay me on fire for? This quarantine has definitely had a lot of ups and downs, probably more downs, but I feel like a lot of us have tried to make the best out of the situation. So for you guys, has anything good actually come out of quarantine for you? I would love to hear about it in the comments below. And if nothing good has happened, I'd also like to hear about that because I feel like you're not alone and we should all discuss. Let's see we've, what else have we got here. Oh, this is pretty cool. So you guys saw in the announcement that they were talking about the new Clips app, which is basically a mini little app that's under 10 megabytes that you'll be able to download just by scanning a QR code. But this is kind of cool, code payments. So you can now use Apple Pay to make payments with QR codes. You guys have probably used Venmo before and it's really great because they have a little QR code that you can scan and then pay someone. It says right here, references found in the iOS 14 code reveal that Apple is working on a new method for letting users make payments with Apple Pay by scanning and QR, that's like basically what we just said. I'm just rereading it. <laughs> we don't need to do that. The one thing that is gonna be kind of interesting that a lot of people have been discussing, and this has been a problem throughout this entire year, is the supply and demand of parts to make things. There's been a lot of holdup in production because things are made overseas and we're not able to actually get those parts to complete projects. So this isn't just an iPhone specific thing, this is pretty much a worldwide issue because of the pandemic. Although at least one model might not become available to order until October or November. I feel like this is a very realistic thing that could happen. I mean, it's gonna be interesting to see how they even reveal the iPhone because still people aren't traveling. Every single event has been canceled this year. I think a lot of companies have been doing a really great job of stepping up their game and really trying to make these virtual environments and press releases and press announcements even extra special because the fact that people are actually able to go there and see the things in person like we used to. I'm gonna miss it so much and I think Apple has been doing a great job of sort of pushing that envelope and showing people with what they did with WWDC that it is possible to do an incredible keynote and still kind of make people feel like they were there and a part of it. This design I think looks really good. This is what I hope the iPhone 12 looks like. I like the fact that they kind of went back to sort of the squared edges. I love the way that these four cameras are laid out. I'm assuming that that fourth one is probably the LiDAR sensor. What is this mask? Do I need to buy this now? This is crazy. I mean, I'm a little bit hard of hearing and I never realized until people were wearing masks how much I rely on reading people's lips to be able to understand what they're saying. So I can only imagine how hard this is for a lot of people when they solely rely on being able to read lips. So this is really, I mean, this looks ridiculous, but okay, that's, that's a little much, we don't need that. But having this clear opening, it looks really silly, but this is incredibly helpful. Studded breathe, oh my God, I'm gonna look so good on my runs. So here's some of the specs based on leaks for the iPhone 12, 12 Max, 12 Pro, and 12 Pro Max. The two lower end models will be OLED, where the higher end will be the XDR OLED Super Retina. The processor A14 Bionic across all models, four gigs of RAM in the lower end, six gigs in the higher end, and it looks like they're only gonna be going up to 512. I kinda think they might do a one terabyte phone. I'm hoping because I've filled up my phone. New phones typically launch in September. Multiple reports point to a delay. Ah! Will there be a delay or will there not? Oh, uh, look at this pink. This is nice. It's like a nice salmon. I love this. I love this squared look. I, I'm so into it. I hope that they do this. I really hope they do. Look at this. Oh, wow. Look at this. Oh, some schematics. This was back in April. I've not been doing much research on my iPhone 12 rumors because I've been playing a lot of Animal Crossing and Call of Duty. Can you double bass? Like that, huh? Yeah. Have you seen anything so talented? Wouldn't that be great if they did sort of an ombre color like that? Midnight blue hue, that green looks really good. I love having the silver iPhone again. Like it's been, it's been really great. What a great look, you, you look good. Apple could ditch ports altogether and skip over USB-C. I really think it's possible. Like if anybody is going to completely ditch having any type of way to plug in their phone, it's gonna be Apple. Here's another leak with the potential LiDAR camera. This is a great article. Tom's Guide, hello. Here's our list of 120 Hertz phones for 2020. Are we missing any? I'm excited to check out the new Note 20 Plus. Very excited. 
iPhone 12 Touch ID in display. At least one model of the iPhone 12 could offer an under display ultrasonic fingerprint sensor, which would bring Touch ID back. After using the iPhone SE, doing a review of that phone, I have missed the fingerprint sensor so much, mostly because now everybody's wearing masks and if you're not wearing masks, I know where you can get a really good one. <laughs> what was I looking? I've lost my page. It's possible the 2021 iPhones could feature both Face ID and Touch ID. That'd mean we'd have to wait until next year. The T. I do feel like the Touch ID on this latest phone is probably not actually going to be a reality. I mean, maybe it's something that they can throw together quickly, but I feel like it's not gonna be up to Apple's standards if they were to release it right now, because it looks like this is something they probably planned on releasing in the iPhone 13, and it's probably not ready, but due to the current climate of everything that is happening right now, the fact that having that fingerprint sensor would be, would be actually pretty pretty huge. I mean, like I like face ID, but it doesn't freaking work when you're wearing a mask. So what's the point? So I guess that is where we currently are at with iPhone 12 rumors and some of the things that I've read online. I'll put links to all of the articles that I talked about in the description if you guys wanna check those out and read some more in depth. This was really fun. I have missed making these types of little sit down videos here and I'm so excited to have this little streaming setup. If you guys haven't already, go check out my Twitch channel, twitch.com slash iJustine. My channel over there on Twitch is like 13 years old when I think about that, it's really crazy. But I'm having so much fun over there doing some live streaming of games. Most Mostly Animal Crossing, but sometimes Mario Kart and a little bit of Call of Duty. So go check it out if you get a chance. And that's it. If you guys haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, and you'll be notified when I post a new video. I hope you guys are all doing well, staying safe out there, wear a mask, and do whatever it is that you're doing to pass the time. We'll see you later. <laughs> Bye.